Hi Leo, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. I hope you guys are doing amazing out there. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the week of June 2023. I'm gonna see who's coming towards you this week with romantic intentions, find out how they currently feel about you deep down, get their behavior and action towards you this week, and I'll also take a look at what's in your blind spot. Things that could be negatively impacting your connection with someone that you may not see just yet. So I'll be answering all those questions and then some followed by your advice in today's reading. All right, Leo, let's do this. What's the energy surrounding Leo in love this week for June 2023? Who's heading towards Leo this week with romantic intentions? And can Leo trust this person, please? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my lovely Leos. Okay, so the person that you're connecting to this week, what's their current feelings for you? We have the moon. You could be connecting to a Pisces or a Cancerian, but with the moon being your person's feelings for you, they feel like they have to keep a secret. They feel like they have to keep their feelings to themselves, all right? Because you look at this card and you see this person holding a mirror in their hands and they're looking at their reflection and what reflects back at this person is the moon, which is all about self-deception, fears, anxiety, fear of the unknown, insecurities. So your person may be feeling insecure about either expressing themselves to you or there's something that they fear if they tell you, you might look at them differently. So they're acknowledging that they're lying to you about something. All right, we'll see what's going on. We get nosy around here. All right, their intentions with you this week. The Three of Cups. So they intend to date you, they intend to be around you. Um, for some of you, this could be a friend right now that has romantic feelings for you and you guys are still in that stage of transitioning the connection from friendship to something more romantic. But for those who are already in romantic um, relations with this person, I'm looking at both of these cards and they both connect in a, in a certain way for me. This one shows someone's face covered by a cup and then in this one, the face is covered by the moon. So in both art depictions, your person is not being true to themselves or true to you, or there's something where they feel like they can't be authentic with you. All right, I'm strongly getting someone that might be insecure here, insecure with being themselves around you. Um, they're definitely putting on a fake front in order for you to like them is what it feels like to me. But I need to dig into this card to make sure it's not nefarious lies. But right now it feels like this person feels shy around you to be themselves. So they might be acting a certain way just to impress you. All right, could strongly be a Cancerian that you're connecting to. Now, what's their actions and behavior towards you this week? The Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords tells me that they plan to communicate with you a lot this week. They plan to text you a lot. There, there is just this energy of a lot of open communication. And this is where you can find out the details that they may be hiding from you right now, right? Because the Page of Swords is my student card. It's my hungry for information card. So this person's open to answering any questions that you have about them. And yeah, this could be good for the two of you guys to start getting closer together because they're definitely keeping something to themselves. But I feel like they're feeling comfortable with you to where they will answer any questions that you have. All right, we'll see. What's your feelings for this person, Leo? The Ace of Cups. For a lot of you, this feels like new love or new love with someone that you've known for a while because I am getting a sweet friendship for some of you. Okay, I am getting a sweet friendship for some of you. So you may have been friends with this person for a few years and now you guys are getting closer to each other romantically and for others you just met this person not too long ago and you're already feeling your heart chakra being fully activated by this person. You like them a lot, okay? You like them a lot and I have a lot of water energy coming through. So emotions felt on both sides. Now what's in the blockage? What's in the blind spot? The sun, major for Leo. Well, with the sun being in the blockage, it makes sense because your person's feelings is the moon. You know, the moon is what we keep hidden from the external, what we keep close to ourselves, private, discreet. 
and the sun is all about highlighting whatever is in the shadows. So with the sun being in the blockage, it's clear that someone is not being completely upfront about something or as open about something as someone would possibly like. Okay, I'm also getting the energy that someone's a bit, you know, insecure about something unrelated to this relationship, but it may be related to something else. Like someone doesn't feel like they measure up Okay, because the sun is all about confidence and when it's in the blockage, someone may be lacking confidence or someone may be just lacking optimism that if they, you know, are their selves or open up about what they want, they're going to get rejected. Someone's fearing rejection here. Um, some of you guys could have met in 2018, some could have met in 2019. For those that were friends first and now you guys are starting to date. Others, it feels like you just met this person around three months ago one to three months ago. What's the potential outcome for Leo and this person this week? The Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. Now this is one of Leo's favorite cards. So for this to be in your outcome position for this week is good. The Six of Wands is all about success. It's all about getting the recognition you deserve, the attention that you deserve, all eyes on you. All right, so I feel like if you were dealing with any challenges recently, you're rising above that because the Six of Wands also comes after the Five of Wands. All right, and the Five of Wands in Tarot is challenges, you know, disagreements with people, bumping heads with people, or just feeling kind of insecure about you know how you show up in the world this week you're you're looking good leo you're looking really good what's your advice with this person eight of cups if this person continues to hide their true self and hide their feelings for you spirit saying walk away Spirit saying walk away. This might trigger this person to be more clear and more open about their feelings and intentions but at least you'll know one way or the other if you're wasting your time or not all right because i'm seeing you collecting all these empty solo cups and it's the energy of well that was a fun party i guess it's time to clean up and move on and see what else is out there you know if someone's not wanting to reveal their feelings and tell you what they want with you there's nothing more you can do you don't want to strong arm somebody to tell you if they like you or not or what they want with you in the future so this might be what is needed to get this person to speak up because the Page of Swords is in their actions behavior position so by you possibly distancing yourself that might get this person to speak up because I feel like there's something unspoken between the two of you here because I'm getting some Leos here that are done wasting their time with people places and things that aren't who they say that they are or aren't revealing their intentions right away um, you're tired of wasting your time Leo because I feel like a lot of you Leos have given your heart and love to people that just love to receive your generosity but don't give it back in return and I feel like I have a group of Leos that are no longer doing that anymore it's no moss generosity when it comes to you know giving to people that you feel like are just like holding back from you so a lot of water energy in this reading um, some of you guys could have Scorpio in your rising placement um, cancer in your Mars placement or your um, uh, moon. What's the overall energy for you this week with love? Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles as the overall energy for you this week tells me that you are focusing on who you can bring into your life and build with because the Queen of Pentacles is all about you know preparing a homestead, preparing a comfortable life for his or her friends and family and it's just knowing who you're talking to and knowing that they are there for you when times get tough and when times are good as I see you repairing a quilt here you're stitching a quilt together which tells me that for a lot of you Leos you may be mending something with somebody after a period of no contact or some of you guys are finally getting your love life back in order where you are more assertive about what you want more more direct and clear about what you want and what you don't want and it's helping you provide a stable life for yourself going forward I've got a lot of confident Leos here especially with the six of wands being here you're getting enough attention to where if you're not getting the right attention you move on you move on just as quick okay so I'm gonna clarify and see what's going on with this person because I do see that they like you but I'm definitely feeling like someone here doesn't feel comfortable being who they really are okay I want to find out why they're hiding their true self on the bottom I have the nine of cups and the three of cups and I got the three of cups right here so it's clear that someone's happy with you some of you could, could be connecting with another Leo 
Oh man, Leo on Leo, that's gotta be fun. Anyways, and I mean that. <laughs> I have a lot of Leo friends and we're, we're, we have a blast. Okay, so your person's feelings for you this week, Leo, is the moon. I wanna make sure that you can actually see the details. My camera acts weird when the sun is like really bright in my room. All right, why is the moon how this person feels about Leo this week? Why the moon for how this person feels about Leo this week? For some of you, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a date, uh, March 2018. March 2018 may be important for some of you, okay? August 3rd, August 18th, August 6th, August 19th, and August 1st could be something for some of you. Why the moon? Why the moon? Sound of Pentacles. Loud ass mar motorcycle, you guys. Oh my goodness, for all you Leos who have been with me for the last couple of months, you know every time I do your reading, loud ass motorcycles come by. You guys heard that, right? I don't know what's going on with the motorcycle thing. It's been happening during all the Leo or all sign reads. Um, some of you guys might be dating someone that rides a motorcycle or there's someone coming towards you very fast and what moves fast but a motorcycle. But anyways, the seven of pentacles is clarifying this person's feelings. They intend to invest in the relationship with you, but they're waiting on you for some reason. It's like they they may be waiting on you to take the lead. And I get that a lot for Leos, and I feel like a lot of Leos are kind of fed up with being expected to be the driver in the, in you know the relationship. Even though you are a masculine sign, all right. Even though you are a masculine sign, there's times where you still want to ride shotgun and just let someone else take over while you enjoy the scenery and the music, right? But this person is definitely waiting on you for something. For some of you, if you haven't been communicating with this person much, they're definitely waiting for you to come out of hiding and reach out to them first. They may be waiting on you to break the silence, okay? And there's the full major for Aries. So this person feels like you are a part of a new journey for them, okay? But I definitely feel like um, I need to know more about this moon energy. I want to make sure that you're not dealing with someone that is hiding something that would really freaking piss you off later down the road. Give me more on this moon energy. I mean, to see the sun card in the blind spot with the moon as their feelings, it totally connects. What's holding you guys back, what is the blockage here is someone not being clear, and it's your person. Why, this, why the moon in this person's feelings? Unless this person feels like you guys have to keep your relationship in secret. Okay, I may have some of um, those situations popping up where this person's not ready to be open with your relationship just yet. Why the moon? Why the moon? Temperance, major for Sagittarius. Something about divine timing. This person's telling me that they're going to open up to you when the timing is right. I definitely feel like you got someone here that's either shy with expressing themselves or they feel like they can't be open about something right now. I keep on getting we can't be open. And then I'm looking at the three of cups and it shows someone's face covered like someone's not ready to be out in public with your relationship if someone's not wanting to be out in public with your relationship and they only have you like meet at their house that is a red flag all right leos i feel like you'll know better than that if someone's only wanting you to come over to their house and you never get to go out in public with them that might be a sign that they don't want their buddies to see them dating you because they might be dating somebody else all right but we'll see because i'm going to clarify their intentions why the Three of Cups as this person's intentions with Leo this week? Why the Three of Cups as this person's intentions with Leo this week? Why the Three of Cups, please? Why the Three of Cups? The moon. Look at that. Leo. This person intends to either keep their intentions with you a, a secret, top secret, and it's going to make it difficult for you guys to build on the relationship because you need clarity with your partner to feel safe and secure. Um, or, or they're keeping their desire to take your connection from a friendship to something more romantic and they're keeping that a secret. So let me just clarify that again. But a lot of water energy. Some of you guys are deaf on there's the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Some of you are definitely connecting with a water sign or someone with a, a lot of 
water in their chart. But since their intentions are being clarified with the moon and the Ace of Cups, your feelings are the Ace of Cups, you do have someone here that intends to pour out their heart to you eventually to be more open with you. Their heart chakra has been fully activated as well. I just need to find out why, why the secrecy? Why the secrecy? Give me another card on their intentions with Leo this week. Give me another card on their intentions with Leo this week. Why the Three of Cups, Moon to the Ace of Cups? The Empress. So they do intend to be very loving and nurturing to you. They do like you. And then there's the Five of Wands and the Six of Wands. There's some sort of jealousy around this person. I feel like they're struggling with something in regards to you. You might get a lot of attention, Leo, and it's not comfortable for them. Um, and that's not a sign for you to dim your light to make them feel comfortable. This is an insecurity that they need to look at within themselves. And the moon is all about insecurities. Um, you may feel like you've got, yeah, you got someone that is like insecure with the attention you get or the success in your life. Cause I do have the six of wands in the outcome position and I got the six of wands next to the five of wands. Someone's jealous of something or you might have an ex still in your life, or you may have made mention that you're still talking to an ex, or you might co-parent with the father of your kids, the mother of your kids, and they're insecure about that. There's something about insecurity written all over this reading now. And with the sun being in the blockage, um, the sun in the blockage is a lack of confidence in something. So let me just clarify your feelings, and then I'll get right into the blockage. But this person does intend to nurture you, love up on you. They do like you a lot. For some, this person loves you already. Um, if you've known this person for a while. But we, we need to figure something out. So, in your feelings for this person, Leo, we had the Ace of Cups. Why the Ace of Cups for how Leo feels about this person? You're happy. You're happy. You really, really like this person, Leo. Why the Ace of Cups? Why the Ace of Cups? Why the Ace of Cups? The Eight of Pentacles. You want to make this connection work. For some of you, you met them at work. And then there's the Sun, Leo energy. So you're confirming that you're the one that's optimistic. You're the one that's confident. You're the one that's very happy about what's going on here. And you're making it clear as day that you have been very open with this person about your feelings, your intentions. For some of you, you already opened up to this person and this person did not say anything back, even though their actions showed you that they liked you. Okay. So a lot of Sun, Moon, sun moon showing up in your reading today okay for some of you you're connecting with um a pisces all right pisces um is the moon and also cancer and leo is the sun so you're you're showing up as the more masculine energy in this relationship regardless of your gender and this person's coming up more of the feminine energy regardless of their gender so this person's very nurturing very sweet very soft i feel like they show you love in the way that they are tender to you and always making sure that you are safe and they're not someone that yells at you or you know says anything hurtful but they're not masculine in their energy in regards to taking action, taking the initiative. That's what masculine energies do, regardless of gender. You guys are the ones that are bold and assertive and hey, I like you where we go from here. Whereas this person keeps all those feelings within and they nurture it inward. So inside, internally, this person's nurturing their feelings for you, but externally, they're not showing you any of that, drawing blanks, all right? But that's where this page of swords comes in which I will clarify in a moment. But first, let's clarify why the sun is in the blockage. You know, the sun is all about new beginnings, you know, getting, getting that new beginning, but a seed needs to be planted. Why the sun? Why the sun in the blockage for Leo and this person? Why the sun? Why the sun for Leo and this person? Why the sun? The four of wands. So, their lack of confidence in how they show up for you and express themselves could be affecting you guys getting into a serious relationship because they want it. The Four of Wands is partnerships, it's marriage, it's I want to support you because I feel supported by you. But if, if this person is running around with that moon energy, how are you going to get to point B when you're still at point A? And there's the hanged man. Something is stuck because someone is um, needing more time to express themselves. And Leo's, you know, you guys are patient, but to a fault. 
So I feel like you're gonna pull away a little bit to trigger this person to speak up a little bit. All right, so let's clarify that page of swords. Why is the page of swords in this person's actions and behavior towards Leo, please? Why the page of swords in their actions and behavior towards Leo, please? The strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, they have been holding back communication from you, um, holding back what they really want to say. But with your patience and love and support, they're going to feel comfortable being more open, possibly going into cancer season. I'm strongly getting cancer season for when this person is going to start feeling more comfortable expressing themselves with all this cancerian energy coming through. Um, and then there's the emperor. Someone steps up and is more assertive. And look, now we have the emperor and the empress with the four of wands. So this could actually turn into a very long lasting, beautiful relationship filled with a lot of stability, a lot of growth, a lot of success and abundance. But this person needs to work on their, their shadow side. We all have a shadow side, but since I'm reading what you're person's feeling about you that's why i'm focusing more on their shadow side versus yours okay so i just want to make that clear to any cross watchers who are watching thinking badison why are you picking on us <laughs> why aren't you talking about leo's bad side we we all have it we all have it but leo wants to know about you okay um so i feel like you distancing yourself a little bit this week pulling back a little bit is going to let this person know a you're not happy about something and b um it's going to trigger them wanting to say, Leo, are you okay? Are you okay? Why the Eight of Cups and Leo's advice? Wow, that Justice card wanted to flip the F out. Justice is all about restoring balance, getting, getting something to work out in your favor. You know, justice being served, it's an equal relationship, an equal partnership. And in this tarot deck, the Justice card reads consequences. Even though this person means well, they're still not being clear with you, which leads to a consequence, which is Leo not giving all that generous love that normally Leos give when they're in love or falling in love, right? Which is going to trigger something in your person that's going to be like, whoa, Leo just pulled back a bit. I need to investigate this a little bit more. For some of you, you have some karma playing out with this person. For those of you who have known this person for a while and you guys have been more friends trying to get into something more romantic, I feel like you or this person or individually have been going through some karma which was keeping you guys apart and something is bouncing out. All right. And for others, I do feel like for some of you, this is someone new that you're dating and you got someone that's dealing with fear of opening up, fear of abandonment, or they like to avoid certain topics. But the outcome looks really freaking good, Six of Wands. So let's clarify that. And then I got the Fool on the bottom. And you've been getting the World card a lot lately, Leo. So to see that Fool card definitely tells me that this person may be tied into um, that new start for you that you've been uh, preparing for. All right, why is the Six of Wands in Leo's outcome this week in love? Why the Six of Wands? You might be getting more attention from others, not just this one person. Why the Six of Wands? Why the Six of Wands? Yeah, some, whatever you're doing, Leo, it's working in your favor. The Death card, okay? You're creating the change that is necessary for you to have the success that you deserve in your love life and in all areas of your life, Leo, okay? I'm looking at this dying cat and there's nine ghost kitties coming out of this body, which tells me that you have gone through several deaths and rebirths in your in the last decade or so. Some of you guys could definitely have Scorpio in your rising placement, but you've been going through a lot of deaths and rebirths in regards to your love life or in your journeys up to this point. Okay, and each time you go through this, you learn more about yourself and you become more confident and more, um, more success follows you. Okay, you're embracing that sun energy. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles as the overall energy for Leo and this person. And then if you're in no contact with your person, I will pull their hidden feelings and see if you can expect some sort of communication around this time. Why the Queen of Pentacles as the overall energy for Leo? Six of Wands again, look at that. For those of you who are career focused, you're about to have a awesome summertime. Leo season is going to be your time to shine and get a lot of success, possibly in an award, as I see an award right here. Okay, those of you who run your own business, you are 
you're you don't have anyone to compete with you just are the it factor with the six of wands coming out twice all right uh, especially clarifying the queen of pentacles which is all about money and wealth okay so let me get your person's hidden feelings for zodiac signs you could be connecting to another leo because i got a lot of leo energy here i got pisces here strongly i have cancer energy i have sagittarius i have taurus libra aries um i already said libra and scorpio okay but it could be any zodiac sign okay would you please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way, Leo. And if you would like to like to book a private reading, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below of this video. And keep in mind, every Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs Their Feelings for You um, reading live stream. So rock that notification bell if you want to be notified. We have a lot of fun in the live stream. Okay. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. For some of you, Leo, someone's realizing in your absence that they loved you and they're being left in the dark. All right, you, you notice when you had the sun when you're in darkness. I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. Look at that. It's written all over here. You challenged this person to expand so they hid their true self from you. This is confirming that this person has been hiding their true self. The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy and I said that earlier when I pulled the jealousy card, the five of wands. So for some of you, this person is jealous about the attention you get. Whether it's from peers, coworkers, exes, new people. Being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. So that is for you, Leo. Um, I'll check back in with you next week and also for the Saturday morning live stream. Until then, Leo, I love you guys to pieces. Later, Gators.